to another Raspberry Pi video by me, the Raspberry Pi guy. In this video, I will be comparing the Raspberry Pi with the newly released BeagleBone Black. By the end of this video, I will have shown you the differences and similarities, as well as both of them working side by side. But first, what is the BeagleBone Black? And Raspberry Pi, for those that don't know. Well, the Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized PC that runs Linux. And the BeagleBone Black is also a credit card sized PC that runs Linux. But what's the difference, and which is better? That's what you'll find out from this video. I'm going to show you all of that in due course. First, let's have a rundown of the hardware. So, as you can see, the boards are pretty much the same shape. Both the Big One Black and the Pi are around 86mm by 56mm, and that makes them credit card sized. However, the Black is slightly heavier. Let's talk about the processor. Well, the Raspberry Pi CPU is a Broadcom BCM2835, and the default clock speed is 700MHz. The Big One Black CPU is an ARM Cortex A8 that runs at the mighty speed of 1GHz. This makes the Black a fair bit faster than the Pi. Both boards support 512MB of RAM, however the Black is in the form of DDR3 compared to the Pi's SD RAM. Again, the Black wins this battle. The Pi has no onboard storage, and relies on an externally prepared SD card like this, and I'm sure many of you will recognise those. They can be a bit of a nuisance. However, the Black has 2 gigs of onboard memory that runs Linux out of the box. It also has a micro SD card slot for expansion, and that is located on the bottom of the Big One Black. Yet again, the Black wins. However, the BeagleBone only has one USB slot, and that's located here. And so you'll definitely need a USB hub if you plan on using two USB devices, e.g. a keyboard and a mouse. The Model B Raspberry Pi has two USB slots, perfect for mouse and keyboard. The Pi wins on this front. Now let's move on to connectivity. Both the Pi and the BeagleBone Black have 10 100 megabit Ethernet, and so they draw on internet connectivity, really. The Pi is capable of full HD output via a full-size HDMI port. The BeagleBone is also capable of full HDMI output, but via a micro HDMI port instead. However, the Pi wins this because it also has an analog output, this yellow connector here, and that feature is absent from the black. This means that you'll not be able to connect your BeagleBone to an old TV, and again, that can be a real nuisance. What about inputs and outputs for electronics and such? Well, the Pi has 8 GPIO pins, 1 UART AR bus, 1 SVI bus, and 1 I2C bus, and those are these pins here. However, the Big One Black has a massive 65 GPIO pins and a whole load of various interfaces from I2C to analog inputs and outputs, and those are those female pins here. The Black completely wipes the floor with that one. Both boards need to be powered from 5 volt sources. How the black uses less power than the Pi when idle. On to price. As you're probably aware, the Raspberry Pi costs around £30 for the Model B. The Big One Black costs around £10 more than that, so depending on where you get it from, you're going to spend around £40. I'm just going to add that the Raspberry Pi has a far better community and is a lot more accessible for beginners. At the moment, there is a rather small Beagle community and hardly any tutorials. The black is aimed more at serious developers. Now we're going to have a look at how you can use the bigger one. Let's start with how you can use the Raspberry Pi. The only way you can use the Pi is by plugging everything into it and then connecting it into a monitor and using it as a standalone computer, like this. The Pi can be used in either the terminal or a graphics user interface. At the moment I'm using the Raspberry and Distro's GUI. In this you can word process, program, browse the internet, etc. Anyway, I'm sure most of you have seen and heard enough about the Raspberry Pi. Let's move on to how you can use the BeagleBone Black. With the Raspberry Pi, there are two ways to use the BeagleBone Black. Connect it to another computer or as a standalone device. Connect it to a computer means that you can use the BeagleBone in a normal computer environment. I'm going to plug this into my Windows 8 desktop PC so you can see what I'm talking about. So, I have simply taken a mini USB cable and plugged it into the black and then into my PC. My computer then recognised the black and I was able to open it in the file browser, like this, where you can click this HTML link. And this sends you to a web page that is actually hosted on your BeagleBone. And once you've installed all of the correct drivers, you can use the BeagleBone black from there. As you can see, it has lots of information on how to use the various features of the board. You can use the Cloud9 IDE, you can SSH into your black from here, etc, etc. And, as I said, lots of information on how to 
use your beagle bone. However, as I said, that isn't the only way you can use the beagle bone blank. You can also use it as a standalone computer. Simply plug in an HDMI cable as well as a power source and you see a Linux distribution booting up on your screen. This drive is called Angstrom, however the black can run many others including the likes of Ubuntu and Android. Once it's booted, you can use the BeagleBone just as you would a Raspberry Pi. Here you can program, word process, uh, file browsers, anything. Um, one thing that I have noticed is that the BeagleBone Black is quite a lot slicker than the Pi when it is run like this. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of both of their desktops. And so concludes my BeagleBone Black and Raspberry Pi face-off. But you may still be wondering, which one is for me? Well, if you're a beginner starting out in the realms of computing and electronics, the Raspberry Pi is the best bet for you. The massive community and tutorial base make the platform very easily accessible. Personally, I prefer it to the BeagleBone as well. However, if you're more serious about this and want to have a go at something a bit harder, then I recommend the Black. Both the Raspberry Pi and the BeagleBone Black are available from Element 14 if you're in the UK, and I recommend Adafruit if you're in the US. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please like, subscribe and share. If you have any issues, questions, thoughts, whatever, please do not hesitate to comment or email me at theraspberrypiguy at gmail.com. I will reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye.